In California, today's race for the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's former seat could be close. Now, experts originally thought this would be a close contest between the three established Democratic Congress members in the race, Barbara Lee, Adam Schiff, and Katie Porter. But now, veteran and baseball Republican and baseball veteran Steve Garvey has a shot at making the November ballot. Schiff, the front runner, talked to CBS News about his concerns. The existential nature of this election is going to become so clear. Uh, existential in whether our democracy continues, existential in whether we address climate change or we still have a habitable planet, but also whether we have a champion in the U.S. Senate and a champion in the Oval Office uh, who's going to fight for working families. Jolene Kent conducted that interview and joins us now from Los Angeles. Jolene, it's great to see you. Uh, you know, you have been following this race. California is usually known as a safe blue state. So why is Schiff's closest opponent apparently a Republican? Yeah, that's a great question, and that's what everyone's wondering. How did it get to this point in the race here on Super Tuesday in this primary? It's a jungle primary, so the top two, regardless of party, will go on to the general election. There's a couple of factors here. Obviously, there are three big-name Democrats who are running for similar votes. They have similar positions on a lion's share of the issues. You can see their faces there, uh, Lee, Schiff, and Porter. Then you also have Steve Garvey, a novice politician, coming in with using his big baseball credentials, if you will, to run for this office. Now, what we've seen is a major ad spend by Adam Schiff, who's spending more than any of the other candidates. And what he's doing is positioning himself against Garvey instead of the other Democrats. Representative Katie Porter has said that this is a tactic by Schiff to try to eliminate the other Democrats, to consolidate more support. And that is why Garvey has been elevated, because of his name recognition, Nancy. Um, you know, it's always hard to get voters out to the poll in the Democratic Party if there isn't a, a big contested race at the top of the ticket. You've just got President Biden there uh, expected to easily win. But uh, there's also this concern that young voters in particular are going to skip this election. Why does that concern exist and what are the candidates doing to try to reach them? I asked Congressman Schiff, the front runner, about this issue, and he says that it is a problem, not just for him, but also for President Biden, and they're working hard to address issues. Schiff specifically says that he's got a priority in terms of climate change policy and the economy and in bringing down inflation to the extent that he could as a U.S. senator. But what we're seeing is 22 million ballots were mailed out in the state of California. It's a mail-in ballot state. People like to vote ahead, drop it off, mail it in. And essentially what we've seen is, according to analysis, that there are about uh, five times as many senior citizens who have participated in this compared to the average young voter. So five to one. And so you're seeing that split, which could affect, of course, the outcome of the election. But there's a lot of fatigue. I've been talking to voters all across the country, and the sense is like, well, I guess it's Trump and Biden again, and it's a sense of, you know, I wish we had better choices. Some of the voters in Michigan were telling me that uh, about a week ago. And so you see that play out. It's a sense of a lack of enthusiasm. But what's interesting about Garvey is because he's a surprise surging candidate here on the Republican side, you see a little bit of new interest in the race, despite what we expect to be historic low turnout. And I should point out, the state Republican Party has not endorsed Garvey yet, despite him being a Republican. And that's due to the fact that they haven't had their nominating convention. The state GOP tells us that that is likely to happen. That convention will happen uh, in, in about a month or two. And Garvey himself has yet to run a single ad. Jolene Kent in yeah. Los Angeles, thanks so much.